morning and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. And today we are trying <laughs> to get back to a little bit of normalcy. So last week was a very devastating week for us. We, um, Gary's friend died. Um, our business was, you know, really in a shaky situation. We, um, we had to make a lot of decisions last week and we have gone from business slowing down to just like two or three days later, business stopping all together. Um, so obviously we can't continue our business when no work is coming in. We can't continue to pay ourselves or our employees with no work coming in at all. Um, and that's kind of where we are right now. So we had to make a very difficult decision yesterday to call our two employees and tell them that we are basically doing a temporary shutdown of our business hopefully to preserve it in the long run. Um, if we just continue to act like nothing's going on and continue to pay people and ourselves and no work is coming in, then our business will go completely under. So right now we're sort of in survival mode and just trying to get through this and hoping that it won't last very long. But we're trying not to think about any of that today. That's just kind of an update for those of y'all that have supported us and loved on us through this difficult time. Today is day eight of social isolation. Today is Monday, March 23rd. Um, I have to go back to the chiropractor again. This will be the third um, time. I am significantly better. Today we're trying to get back to normal because we've got very little school done last the last two days of last week on Thursday and Friday. We just, no one's head was in it. We just, couldn't, we weren't really functioning normally. Um, and so we're trying to get back to normal today. Katie's been making breakfast. She's making some muffins. We're gonna start school. Um, I usually do a big brunch around like 11 and I'm not gonna do that today because A, we have leftovers that we need to eat and I'm trying to make sure we don't waste any food and we can serve food, use a little bit less, try to stretch things further. Um, just because of the business situation and also just because around here we just can't find what we need. So it just doesn't make any sense to just kind of blow through the groceries that we do have. So we're going to um, probably do leftovers once I get back from the chiropractor around 12 or 12.15 and do lunch today, which we rarely do. Um, actually, <laughs> we rarely actually eat a normal lunch anymore. I watch you as you drive Do you know can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on so here sophie and i are just watching pennies and salt that's my friend megan's channel i'll link it up above we really enjoy her sweet family and um sophie really enjoys her videos so we're just watching um her latest video while we are waiting for the muffins to be done this moment can we stay here together if I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here for? So now Katie is reading from our Good and the Beautiful Year 2 history lesson. We use this as our morning time because it's something that both girls can do together. Although I do heavily supplement it since Katie is in a high school U.S. history course this year. And we have all really enjoyed the Good and the Beautiful history. With you everything is complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this Okay, so um, we are taking a look at Homeschool Planet. We are behind from last week. I'm actually looking at this and we somehow managed to get most everything done. So, um, Katie had done a little bit of work with Sophie um, while I was gone to the chiropractor last week. So some of that stuff is done. And Sophie kind of worked ahead on her math at the beginning of the week because we really didn't do a whole lot of work on Thursday and Friday. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to move the things that did not get done, which are the things that have red checks on them. They are all um, under Katie. So just to make it easier. I'm gonna have it show only Katie's stuff. And I'm gonna go in here and just edit. So now last week is all called up and 
we've moved everything to this week. So that should work. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, we may not do everything that I moved to Monday today, but that's okay. We're just going to work on this week as we can and um, kind of make a plan of what we're going to do. That's Katie's schedule. Now here's Sophie's schedule and with Sophie I have to add her language arts and math on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that very quickly. Okay, and then so what I do is I just add what we do that day um, with math for her. Okay. So now Sophie's is fixed. I'm going to need to add what she does for math and what she does for language arts, but everything else is on here. Um, okay, so it is a dreary winter day outside in South Carolina today. Friday we were wearing shorts and short sleeve shirts and we were out walking and it was like 80 something degrees. Probably the high was probably like 84. Today it's in the 50s again and it's raining and yucky outside and cool. Um, so that is South Carolina weather for you. We did enjoy the warm weather while we had it last week and I think it's coming back at the end of this week. I do think that um, with this quarantine and social isolation stuff that the spring weather is uh, kind of makes everybody feel a little bit more optimistic <laughs> and um, happy. But anyway, today we have the gloomy winter again. So I thought that's all right. We are gonna make the most of it. We probably won't be able to get out and walk today. So we're starting school. We finished our history. That's what we usually do for morning time. Um, and now Sophie is going to do probably um, a couple of days of handwriting just because it's something she can do by herself while I kind of get things together. I'm gonna have to leave here in about 10 minutes. The girls, Sophie's gonna stay with Katie because I'm not gonna be gone very long. And um, the girls are gonna do some of their work that they can do without me here, um, and Gary is actually out on one of our last jobs with our company, just kinda, he's tying up a few loose ends before we do our temporary closure, so he's actually doing some fit testing today, so uh, we will probably see him this afternoon. It is amazing how much it helps. What do you want next? What do you want to do next? What is it? What do you want to do next? I don't know. What? What's your favorite? Want to do math, language, arts, or science? Science. Science, what I thought. Uh look almost alike. Some do not, but most of the common plants have roots, yeah. stems, yeah. Leaf. and yeah. flowers, right. Roots, stem, leaves, flower. Can, Can I, you show me? It has roots, flower, and stem. Good job. Gary is home. Um, he did a little fit testing job and now he's back. The girls are eating. We're having leftovers. I'm just trying to kind of strategically go through and use up things that need to be used up. So today we didn't do brunch like we normally do just because I wanted to use up our um, leftover dinners. And I've been writing a paper on how we are stuck in quarantine right now. With you, mm, your laughter takes me to heaven. I just want to make you Repeat it and repeat it again. Still rainy and yucky outside. We had been trying to take a walk every day and just kind of get out and um, kind of reduce the stress a little bit. Right, Soki? Yeah. Yeah. So we can't do that today. So today, the good news is we do have the cozy fire going. We also have our living room all messed up because there was an unfortunate event that happened last night where coffee was spilled by a little person and we had to clean our couch, 
Looks like it cleaned up pretty good though. It spilled right there. Yeah. I don't see a stain. And also, the rug is going to need to be cleaned. I'll probably use my little carpet cleaner to do that, but it wasn't actually too bad. But we need to do our spring cleaning in our living room anyway, so it's a good opportunity for us to move the couch and clean under it. Right, Sophie? Yeah. Yeah. You ready for math? Yeah. Let's go do it. On the highway, it's our way. Road 66 and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. got caught up from last week for Katie. I moved a few things to this week. She finished her math, her biology. She read the first two chapters in book one of Mere Christianity. She studied French and she did her language arts today, including a paper. So we decided not to work on the honors paper today because she was already writing another paper for language arts. So she finished everything today. And um, let's look at Sophie's schedule. I like to look at it by individual. She finished all of her work for today. And yeah, my girls are having a snack. Sophie wanted some pistachios and Katie's eating some chips. And I told myself it wasn't gonna be an afternoon coffee kind of day, but I'm about to fall asleep. So I gotta do some editing. So I'm gonna make some coffee and try to stay awake. School is done. We just finished reading the first two chapters of Mere Christianity. I just wanted to say that we really appreciate your support and prayers um, from the past two videos. Your kind comments have really been encouraging to us. And we just want to know if there's anything that we can pray for your families um, for. We just leave that in the comments below or on Instagram at ourblessed.life. You can even direct message us there because um, we want to be there for y'all. So I really appreciate this community and I know that we do have a lot of people that'll pray. So if you're going through a difficult time right now, whether somebody's sick or it's a job situation or anything else that you need, please let us know in the comments below and we'd be happy to pray for y'all. So it is about almost six o'clock now. We usually have eaten supper by now, but I've been kind of, I don't know, probably doing things I shouldn't do, which is like, you know, listening to the news and, and reading news articles and stuff like that kind of brings me down. So. I'm not really in the mood to cook a big dinner. Um, I was planning on making some um, green bean chicken, which I've showed on this channel before, but I think I am probably just gonna take the easy way out and make a couple of frozen pizzas tonight just because I'm not really feeling it, uh, <laughs> the cooking. Um, so we're. I feel like today was a better day. I feel like we've been able to stay positive and kind of get through a more normal day. Um, a lot of last week to me kind of felt, felt like, you know, almost like our house was falling down around us. It was just, you know, just one thing after another thing after another thing. And I do feel like things are settling down a little bit now and hopefully we can get back into some kind of routine. We're almost caught up with school um, and things like that. We are probably going to be posting on here more frequently um, just as we kind of go through this process of, you know, this new normal, what this life is like. Um, if you would like to tell me what kind of content that you would like to see, I would appreciate that in the, in the comments below as well. I do have plans to post um, some review videos in the near future. One is gonna be on Shoreman Science, which is a high school science program. It'll be on the Shoreman Biology class. We're also gonna do a review and possibly even some tutorials on Homeschool Planet because several of y'all have mentioned that to me that you have, you're interested in that or you wanna see more on that. Um, so we're planning to do that. We will definitely be doing some vlogs. Um, and I also have um, a couple more videos coming up in our homeschooling and high school series. So that's kind of some of the content that we have. And we're also, we also have some spring cleaning content that was filmed um, before the world fell apart um, or our country um, fell apart. I guess the world's been falling apart for a good bit longer. And um, we've been maybe sheltered for a while and not feeling the impact, you know, personally or whatever. Um, but we are just continuing to pray and be faithful that, and know that God is faithful and um, that 
even though things are surprising us on a daily basis and we are unprepared for some of these things and just um, caught off guard maybe, that none of this is a surprise um, to God and that uh, He will work all things for good for those who love the Lord. And um, we're going to try to look for the little blessings in all of this and um, just kind of think about what we are grateful for. And I'm going to try to start leaving this at the end of every video. So, um, yeah, so, to, so some things that I'm grateful for today is that my family is healthy and that we have food to eat. So, um, as, in all of the frustrating things that are going on and all the scariness, we're healthy. We have food to eat. So, I hope that there's something in your life that your family is grateful for today and um, that you can find a blessing in the midst of all this scariness and the suffering out there. What'd you do today? I did a tooth. You pulled a tooth, didn't you? Yeah. All by yourself. Uh-huh. You can't stand to have a loose tooth, can you? Uh-uh. You know, it's gotta come out. Yeah. Where You're was a it? brave girl. You always do it yourself. It Where was, was on the it? side. Where was it? Show it, show it. Right there? Uh huh. Yeah. Where's yeah. the tooth at? So I am going to try making a mug cake recipe that I found on TikTok, and I'm really excited to try it. This is the Katie cup. Katie was four years old. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy. If you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye, bye. bye. Hasta la vista. No, <laughs> you